What's up guys, it's Raf in the Raf K. Welcome back to another LG OLED showcase of HDR gaming. I'm gonna run Gears 5 campaign for you guys. A little bit of beginning, which is a spectacular scene when there's dropping down from the helicopter into the valley, water, sunlight, rock, color, vines, trees, all that stuff. It's gonna look fantastic. So I'll show you guys my current HDR video game settings. Uh, feel free to try them out. They look good for me in my darker room, sitting five feet away from a 65 inch TV. It's fantastic. Give it a try if you'd like. I hope you guys are doing okay. Hope you guys are safe, healthy, staying home, getting through this worldwide. So without further ado, let me show you what it looks like on my table. The reason why I went with the GX over the CX, just to kind of give you a, a glimpse of uh, why I chose this one. So let me give you a little video tour and then let's get into some Gears 5 footage. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Like, subscribe, share. Comment below if you have any questions on this TV. It's the best gaming TV for next gen, bar none, LG OLED 2020. CX or GX. All right, let's check it out. All right, guys, here is the GX Gallery Series OLED TV. So one of the biggest reasons why I got this one over the CX was because of the stand. Now, for me, having a, a standard table... I have a center channel on top, so I wanted something that has the ability to float right above the, the speaker. And I'm about, uh, you know, three centimeters above the center channel. It's very nice. It's floating right above it. And the way I achieved that was because of the feet of the GX, these legs that go right on the side. It's perfect. And what I'm using back there is called tri-grips. I left the link in the description. Those tri-grips tri I got from Menards, and they are non-slipping. Uh, uh, they have rubber on top and bottom, and they hold a ton of weight. Very stable platform for those feet. So I have two there. And then I have the, the six back there as well. And it's perfect. Very stable. TV does not move. And it's perfect for my stand. It's a beautiful, beautiful TV. Looking on the side of the screen, you see the thickness here. This is 20 millimeters thick. And this right here is actually thinner than the CX or BX or the C or B line of OLEDs because it doesn't have that bulk on the bottom. So overall, this is a thinner TV. It's beautiful. Now with the tabletop stand, you do get those covers. It covers up the no gap wall mount, which would have went there. And also you cover up all your wires so it's nice and clean going down the bottom in the middle there. So looking close, you got the three USB inputs, IR blaster, the four HDMI 2.1 optical, Ethernet, and your ATSC 3.0 next gen tuner built in for that future future broadcasting, which I'm very excited for. All the wires are routed in, clean, out of the way. So looking at the feet on the bottom here, you see how it's all the way on the edge, which I love, as far out to the edge as possible. And what that's going to leave for me is plenty of space right here for next-gen console. This will be where the PS5 will go, and this is where the Xbox Series X will go. So that's going to be awesome for me. You can even run, run the wires inside the back of the foot there. And I have plenty of space back here behind my couch. So the configuration of this table, the stand, is just perfect for me. Look at that. Look how much, look how much space I have above my center channel. I worked it out so perfect. Look at that. Look how close. This is perfect. See? Best configuration for me. Awesome. There is the GX OLED on the table. All right, guys, let's get into it. Let's show some, uh, let's see some footage of Gears 5, and I'll give you my, uh, give you my settings. Let's get it. All right, guys, going to our Xbox input. Game uh, mode um, activated, instant game launched, and HDR popped up. Okay, so my new gaming HDR settings are as follows. 
Uh, we're going to be in HDR picture mode game setting. 100 light, 100 contrast, 50 brightness, 13 sharpness, 60 color. Advanced controls, HGIG guys. Now this this is the new HDR gaming uh, picture mode that regulates the uh, uh, or limits the blooming in the contrast, so you get that detail for all the games. Now this isn't mastered for all the games, but it's a universal setting that, from what I've seen so far, does a better job of limiting the clipping of contrast more than the on of dynamic tone mapping. The white balance, I'm using medium right now because I feel like for a video game with, with, with clear graphics and sharp images, I don't want to dim that or, 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 or like, for me, warm setting is more for faces, for more like real life, uh, video movies, things like that. Video games, I still like it to keep a little more video, video-ish or gaming-ish, if you, if you get what I, my drift. That might change, might go to warm one, but for right now it's at medium. And then for uh, the picture options, uh, that's just auto black level, and then true motion is disabled for Xbox One X for some reason. I'm not able to activate BFI. And that is it. So give it a try, guys. See what you think. Let's watch some footage from Gears 5. This is one of the best intros of Gears. It's fantastic. Look at that. That's just incredible scene. Graphics are awesome. Says one of the silence is still intact, right? So, Marcus, look at this water. Are you kidding me? So fantastic. Bring on next gen gaming. Oh. I'm shooting this on a Samsung cell phone camera, so if there's any blowout highlights, you don't see that in the game. Look at this leaf right here. We got a silo to find, kids. I think 85 looks really good. Maybe I'll push it to 90.
Yeah, contrast at 100 is fine. Um, I'd say depending on your room lighting and how the game looks, the OLED light should be anywhere between 90 and 100. Looks real nice. Green colors, foliage, dark levels, nothing, nothing being crushed. Detail-wise, I see everything in the background, nothing too crushed back there. It's clean. It's a great-looking game, guys. Jeez. All right, looks good. All right, guys, this is a little sample of Gears 5. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm still tweaking the picture. I think uh, most of it's good. It's just the OLED light that I might uh, switch out a little bit. Other than that, guys, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, share. Welcome to the Raft Cave Club. And uh, definitely check out the LG 2020 lines of OLEDs for the best gaming TV for next gen. All right, guys, let's play a quick game of multiplayer, Gears 5. Let's get it. Oh yeah, we got this. No problemo. Great looking game. Still alive. <laughs> that looked good, that was fun. Very responsive game. Everything worked out great. I had fun. Had a couple nice shots in there. Sweet. All right guys, thanks again for watching. Stay home, stay safe, stay healthy. I'll see you guys next time. Home Theater Rules. Raph out. See ya.